Okay, I'm here with Vincent uh, Terry with um, uh, GeoWeb 3D, and uh, they've really speeded up the process of being able to access imagery and 3D models, but I'm going to let Vincent explain exactly what they do and how they do it. Yep. So hello, the, uh, one, one of the, we are the best 3D mapping engine uh, on the market today. What we do is we work directly from your source data. Uh, we don't require you to use a custom database. We don't use any proprietary databases. So if you have a raster, um, we just load it. It doesn't require you to tile it or anything else of that nature. So we actually can pull in LIDAR and LAS files in its raw format. We, here we're actually showing how we're, we can project a high resolution video and we can actually pull in video streams and we actually immerse that video into the 3D, into the 3D scene. We're actually not putting it onto a billboard or anything else of that nature uh, like what a lot of other companies do. So here we're actually showing some thematic representations uh, going around in the Washington DC. Here he's showing how you can actually edit and put in vector data, pulling in uh, CAD drawings and again if you're dealing with video surveillance you can actually have those cameras projecting on, on the wall, um, you know, UAVs or anything else of that nature. You can pull in live, live uh, geospatial data, and you actually can even do a, a view shed against that moving data within the 3D scene. So here, actually, he's showing how that can even be tied along a flight path within the, within the 3D scene. And here we, we're doing uh, some analytics with the point-to-point -point, uh, within the 3D scene as well. Uh, here he's showing a little bit about how uh, a proof of concept that we've actually done with do, dealing with uh, the Android, where it's typically uh, a video stream that's going to the client, but you can actually collaborate within the 3D environment, within the 3D world with multiple people. And here we're actually showing where you can, can beautify, you know, if you're dealing with city planning and whatnot, you can actually make a very pretty picture with our software and kind of showing the overall content that we can pull in. And we have three levels of, uh, of an SDK. Uh, we have you know, a JavaScript API to get into us. We have uh, our engine SDK, which is just the, the 3D scene. And then we have a desktop SDK as well. And with the desktop SDK, you can actually uh, put in your own widgets onto the scene, give your own behaviors, and a lot of people actually white label uh, our software when they're going to that level. But it doesn't require you to white label to, to, uh, to actually get that SDK. Uh, here he's showing the multiple layers, and what we do is we can fuse um, your, you know, your KMLs, your KMZs, uh, your shape, your shape files, um, and uh, it doesn't really matter what projection that you're in. You know, it can be WGS84, state plane. You know, we we do all that work right on the fly, and we deal with a continuous mesh. Um, I, you know, I didn't get to show you right there is. Uh, because we query into the data at the resolution that we require for the display, it will, uh, um, as you're moving down, we'll you know, we query into the data for a higher and higher resolution of that mesh. And so that way your data when you're doing your analytics is always proper and exact within our, within our software.